coming off a missed cut last week. What are we pushing? Eight billion people on the planet, and you're the top hundred at playing golf. Yeah. Yeah, pretty solid stuff. There we go. Fifteenth in the world. And quite a bit left, it appears. Going for the high cut. Wow, that's pretty. And McKinsey's going to get it. We've said it a few times. Long is not good at all. Female from downtown. The change in grain around the hole. You see the. Tony Finau, another par putt. Looking for another payoff on all that hard work he's been doing on the less than 10 footers, and it uh -huh. looks like all the work is working. Beautiful first two par putts. 166 last year, 174th, 172nd in the, the, the years before that. So, you know, you don't have to be a statistician to look at those stats and know what he needs to do. A little heat come out of this rough. It'll take some speed out of the, the arms at the strike. Softly. The President's Cup going 3 1 and 0. Oh. So you'd think that he would be. Uh, it, no one's a lock because you, no. the form is fleeting, but you'd think. Oh. Tony will make the Ryder Cup squad for Captain John, uh, Zach Johnson, which will be his third Ryder Cup. Can do with it. Now, Tony, middle of the fairway, wedge in hand. In Boyd, some of his have diligently, diligently worked on this part of the game. Take speed out of the arms, really slow the hands down through the strike. And the mo he's Southern big and, he's big and burly for sure. Yes, he is. Strong. All those South Africans, he's Ernie L. Strong. Good putts there. I've always said, if you just had a long drive contest, yeah. I'd probably put my money on this. I agree. That is, that is the most controlled 181 mile per hour, 300 yard carry that you'll ever see. And if he just wanted to wail on one, Nick Price did that to a degree. Fine, just a short arm. You don't need to move it at all. Just take that aim. Oh, this guy's a ball striker in his own right. That was rude. Yeah, that was for two straight. Scoring average a little better this afternoon. I think the dew is burnt off. Temperature is. Uh, Certainly risen. Courses have two people. They have a designer and then a, a yeah. company that actually builds. And it's good that, uh, you know, you think of when Doak came in here. Uh -oh. Brooks Kepko was the player consultant. Yep. So you've got a tour player in here. There's the guy that can bring that equation into it as well. Cautious. He is hovering it. Yeah. That's actually really good. And there's always, you always want a little more of that up and down that you probably weren't supposed to get. Uh, never really hit. Kind of a, I don't want to say wishy, but the speed was certainly not a holding speed. You cut it off, you cut as much of the water off as you can, but then you go, well, either be where I can get home with an iron or let me just lay up. And that's going to be left for Tony, so. Just figure out a way to get it underneath the limbs there. And we can see how low he got that. Looking for a much better result. Go, go. Just four from the edge is this whole location. Even with a short eye on your hand, that well, coming up the rise, so a slower putt. Can't try and force the issue after you've been out of position most of the way. Five is acceptable.
Johnny does not like to make pars on par fives. Very conservative off the tee here at 17. Female with an eye. Moisture that they had in the morning, 132. You would expect this to be left of the flag. Just isn't quite there. Yeah, it's, it's a little hurt. And the Astros are victors again. The Kings of Baseball, Shane. Yeah, wonderful World Series. And all my Philly fans were bummed out. Here's Tony Finau at the 17. Quick walk. You better be at your best, both mentally and physically. Tony Finau. And it's a fairway that just lets him rise and fire with it. 176. Probably just knocking down a little seven iron. Beautiful shot right over the top of the flag. Par, and it's a putter out for Finau. Certainly hopped through the fringe. You you're put yourself in an advantageous spot. He did not put that as far out as Henley did. Which is probably about 35 feet right in the flag. And they try and swing it from right to left. Trying to use his body to turn it. Six on from 205. Excellent shot. We'll see if that's 35 feet, Craig. Right? Kip Trophy handed to him but Tiger Woods and thinks he can't trash talk. <laughs> Finau for birdie down the hill at one. Now when you're getting outside 50 feet, it's Tony Finau. Curved more than he wanted to, and especially right to left to a right hole location. He's playing with Tony Finau, who's putting up the hill for birdie. A pretty slow putt, pretty steep embankment. But well judged from Tony Finau. Finau. I mean, you hit you had a, your driving iron from 290 to the hole, I assume. Give or take. Yeah. About that. Tony always a pretty good pitcher of the ball. I thought it was a putting, sometimes short putting that really can be his undoing, but that was excellent. Damon back to even. Finau. He goes to two on there. 172 more direct line for him. No tree problems. I wonder if they were discussing like their history professor or something from back in Georgia. 25 feet for Finau. Oh, yeah, he hit it about 24 foot, 10 inches. They're saying if we tee off early enough on Saturday, can we get to Starkville? This is what I was expecting and what I was getting at, you know, that Tony has the firepower to get it to that bunker if he would, were to take driver. So this is absolutely the play. Throws that Fina. That's there special. you go. That's how to handle that. Kind of quiet birdies. He just 
He's yeah. done many things. Crazy outstanding, I can recollect. Just quiet, three under par. Bounces on your wedge. What that means, what that means on every shot, uh, you know, varying it around and, and strategy. Don't go at every pin. I was just nuts. I wasn't even a good iron player, and I just, that's the pin's over there, so that's where I'm supposed to hit it. Yeah, and he's definitely looking right. You can just see where his shoulders and eyes are going. That's, that's why Harris English was having such a hard time. He's supposed to be 10 feet closer. 11 feet, 11 inches. There you go. Got the kick that English wanted, and Finau capitalizes. He's to four under. Every tournament that he did play last year was through a lot of pain. Finau whipping this in. That's the shot shape you kind of need to get it back there. It's not going to take much, Robert, to no. get past it. No, on the other hand, he could just ease his way down the fairway and easily reach. He's acting like it needs to cut. Yeah, oh, look fine. at that. Hey. We'll get Colin's opinion in a second. He now. His second at the par 5 eight. Laying up. This is Tony Finau for another birdie. And the train wow. stops and it might have rolled off the rail. It might have rolled gone off the other side. Another long putt for Tony Finau. Five under, he is now tied for the lead and finishing in style for the day. Really big hitter, he throws more off speed, like, you know, takes more off driver than any other long hitter, like, hits a lot of fairway finer controlled fades. One for Fino. That nice little sawn off finish, controlled oh, motion. No. No and it won't plug. Bounced in there, Tony. Steep. Oh, if he gets this inside 10 feet, it'll be an exceptional shot. He may have to hit the flagstick if he gets inside of 10 feet. Just managed to bumble it through here. It's going to swing from his right to left. Oh, that's just a par. And as they say, no comments on the scorecard, guys. That is four. Well, Big T birdied this hole yesterday, that back right pin location. Let's see if he can make another deuce. Sends this one a little higher than Mac, turning it in there nicely. Come on back. Delayed spin. How about it? How about it? I think he is going to make a deuce. Yesterday, <laughs> made a 50-some footer. Today, he's going to make about a five-incher. And we do get the birdie from Tony Finau, who now moves into sole possession of first place at six under. There's just a big swale on the right side of the screen to avoid. Birdie hole, though. No eagles, excuse me. And where Tony's balls come to rest was on one of those tires, so he's able to get probably a little bit more club on this than he would normally do. And as a result, a little bit more control. And he just would almost will it in the hole. Almost like, you know, a la Tiger Woods used to do all the time as we watch Fina tidy that up. That was a sporty little up and down there from Big T. Sort of in light, uh, excites the imagination. Well, well, this one for Fee now. If it gets a good soft bounce, should find the short grass, which I believe it did. 
Tony Finau, middle of the fairway. Yeah, big T, 192. Conservative play would be a little out to the right. By that body language, that's where it's headed. It was fourth on tour last year from 175 to 200. Yeah, just a slightly different action here. Likes to lean the hand a little bit more, get a little bit more of a descending blow. And that one just got away on him a little bit. Anyone that's just a little twitchy around these green, and there shouldn't be a lot in it. Maybe just a hair wiggle to the left. They've come off back-to-back -back birdies. You want to follow that up with a bogey. It's a heck of an effort. So it's a par birdie, birdie, bogey start for Big Tone. He said, we normally take about five and a half to six hours to play. And I said, well, these guys almost did that yesterday. It was tough going. Yeah, you'd think that they had the rough even lower for the local Houstonians. Down and off the green. I think with, that comes in a little too much spin shorter, this will come off the front edge. You've got to be really precise and dial in your spin. This one needs to get up. And it does. Yeah, he's done such great work over the last four or five years with Boyd Summer. Awesome. So much of it says it might want to go right. We're talking about bounce back. Uh, Robert Cameron made a great comment yesterday. He bogeyed the previous hole. Tony did bounce back with a birdie. It shows a lot of heart. There's so many gears. Some guys have an extra gear. He may have a whole gearbox. Yeah. I think he could be the longest on tour if he so chose. You know, that, that's a great, it's a little shorter than. Yeah, just 154 for Big T. Really, he'd be looking about 10 feet to the right of this pin and then just try and turn something back towards it. This one, not turning back. No, to dig a little deeper into those stats. Yes. Yeah, if you go get away from strokes gain, his greens and regulation. We talked about it early in the telecast, how some people look like they're holding a putter. Some people look like they were born with that putter in his hands. And I think Tony now is starting to look so much more comfortable at address. And I therefore subsequently roll on the rock better. There's no tension in those arms. It, it bleeds from the driver all the way to the putter. He's an athletic dude, but uh, the way he addresses, he just looks ready to go. Let's see if we get that little abbreviated follow through. That one was a little more fluid out to the right, trying to turn back a little. It's going to need a good bounce and it gets it. Look at this. He yeah. now on fire. Oh, Amazing golf shot there, especially with that whole location tucked in the right. So I expect to see more of him in future years. Tony Finano for birdie now. And he has been on fire, really going to that second nine. It's just golf courses where it's horses for courses. He said, here, we don't need the premium on distance. We need the premium on the fairways. We watched Tony Finau split another one here at the eighth. But he said he needs to know when to use it, when not to use it. And that's what he's getting smarter at. 252 to the front edge. He has definitely got the firepower to get it there. Left is no good. Has it down there, penalty area. And this one conservatively a little bit more out to the right. Might have to put the brakes on. Yeah, that's that rocket two iron he's got. Came in very low. It's going to be fine. And not yeah. pretty easy up and down. So yep. all in all, not too bad. Straightforward little pitch from the back of the green here. Not a lot of movement either way, left or right. Just get the distance right. Technique seemed much better there. Didn't take a divot even though it was on the slight upslope and back into the green. So nicely done there. Good one. Five, five birdies for Finau in his first eight holes and four shot lead. The ninth, just 159 today. Did play 173 to that pin location up in the back, but this pin location at the front, it is tricky. Oh, but not if you're Tony Fee now. No, he wanted it to just drop left, but perfect judgment of distance there. Yeah, just a beautiful shot in here. It just goes to show you don't need a hole over 200 yards for it to be a great par three. 
Just a little leaker from his left to right. Just pulling him out. Yes, he is. Making it look easy. You know, dusted the field by three and a half shots. Yesterday made 156 feet worth of putts and can, continuing that trend. Colin, you now set up for that big cut. Well, it's trying to cut. It's going to need a nice bounce. And it looks like it. Oh, boy. <laughs> that, no. was the, uh, that was the off break. Colin, he's got, looks like a play at this green. Yeah, this one here for Tony got the better of the two breaks. This one from 120 yards and a beautiful play. Look at that. Big T, he's on fire. Not a lot of movement, just a wiggle left. Maybe at the very end. Four straight birdies. Count it. Wow. Tony C now absolutely in fuego. Five shot lead. And that wind just picked up enough. I think he can go ahead and hit his three here. And this one out to the right trying to turn back. It might have been the four with that much shape on it. Mm. Came up just a little short the way they're playing today. That Barring some nasty weather when it rolls in, maybe the wind will kick up with it. This is Finau. Oh, goodness. Well, Finau, after watching Joel stab that putt, I'm sure he doesn't care at all. Well, you asked for just a little three-finger fade, and Tony Fee now has delivered. That one is going to split the fairway here at the 12th. Perfect. Dead center, 162, ever so slightly, ball below his feet. And that's that nice little sawn-off controlled finish. Just a touch right. That's going to come on back. Might be a lot better than Tony thought initially. Yeah. And that stellar iron game has just been so good. Six under through his first 11. And boy, that was a good putt. Scared the hole on that one for sure. What did we talk about this morning? The, the good putters have good misses. Back on the tee at 13, Finau. Yeah, he birdied this hole yesterday. Oh. This one out, super oh. low, turning left. Oh, and there is one big oak tree down that left side. That is not the tee ball Tony wanted here at the 13th. 131, front pin location. Great contact, just out to the right. And that is going to come up well short. He might have got a little pine straw before the ball there. August to late October. So they're still a little bouncy. Be now. Oh boy, oh boy, that is so good. Distance to just keep that momentum going, that round going. Oh, does a beautiful. Expect anything different? Nope. <laughs> Made a beautiful par here yesterday, and he did. Gave that one a little sting down the left side. That one's going to miss the fairway. Could catch that oak tree. Oh. Well, it's all about the stance here and the footing. I don't think he'll have too much tree trouble above him in his backswing, but he is a long way home. You could hear Mark Abanek say 256 to the back. That one whistles past me, and that is left of the green. Ooh, boy, that is going to be tricky. Finau on 14. Yeah, boy, watch him send this one way upstairs trying to get it to sit soft. No choice but to try and do that. That was one of those ones that he had to try and land it closer to the hole than further because of the tilt and the slopes on the green. That's a pretty good effort from an average lie. Let's see if he's got another one in him. Not quite. Well, it is the toughest hole in the course, and yeah, you made a bad swing off the tee, but a lot of people are going to make bogey. You're still leading. You're still playing great. All day. Finau made bogey here yesterday. Sends it sky high to the back edge of the green. Puts a little zip on it for the fans out here. Nice. Well, he does have five twos on his scorecard today. 
and yesterday combined. Not that much. Par for Tony. But the wind should be still helpful. That it is off the left and a little down and looks like the big fellas found the short grass. That'll be tempting oh, for him. Man. That that is so pure to stand up there knowing that you like to move it in that direction. Just doing what he should do on the power fives, just destroying them. This one out to the right, turning back. Beautiful line if it's the right way. Mm. Keeps it below the hole and 127 foot apex. Our tracing technology is provided by Trackman. If you're prepared to take a little on here, you get an uphill putt with just a hint of right to left in it. And these boys love that. Never really had that out. What's well, amazing, he made 156 feet worth of putts today, less than half. Uh, yesterday, less than half today, only 68 feet. Tony Fina also going with a nine. It's always difficult on holes like this where you get an iron in your hand and it's a pretty much a, a handshake tee shot that sometimes these players lose a little bit of focus. Tony Fina yeah. with just 129, slight downhill lie. That'll help him flight it in here, Jeff. Yeah, well, he got through that well. The club exited beautifully to the left. 100% that downhill lie helped flight it down. And it has been a birdie fest today. He's poised to go out there and have a great weekend and win. Got like a little ridge back sort of that cuts through this fairway. Anything to the right will sort of kick a little further right. Anything to the left will kick a little bit to the left. This one down the right. It's been a clinic. All this gallery, this huge gallery lines 18. I want to see one more from the big fella. straight to the round of 62. Even a shot like this, he's got 141 yards. It's playing a bit more like 125 downwind down the hill. And to the front. Pushing front. it down on a good line, asking for it to sit. Ah, beauty. Oh, that's perfectly controlled there from Fino. This putter has been red hot for him so far. Made a nice four footer to save part one. <laughs> you see, there's an example of the wind right there. He's playing that to go left, wind gusts, ball turns the other way. Easiest hole this week, the par five third. And I just got to yeah. tell everybody, Steve Sands just showed me he has gloves. Gloves and prepared, that is Steve Sands. Before you pack every week, the first <laughs> thing and the last thing you do. Part of me surprised that he didn't get Noren to mark that ball. Very safe, smart play there, you know, anything can happen. And Tony Finau across the green for his birdie. Very fast putt downwind, down the hill, straight initially, then moving to his right about the last six feet. Fourth in the field this week in Strauss game putting is Tony Finau. That to go along with leading the field, strokes gain total, second, tee to green, fifth, approach Trevor. When the putter's working like that, he's a tough guy to catch. On the right with this wind helping. Absolutely, Trevor. Took it way high, up the left side, beautiful drive here. Taking advantage of that downwind, trying to throw this one up in the air more. I'll tell you the other issue today, mm -hmm. not just the weather. Slightly left of the flag stick. Needs to hang on. Not very good there. That's uh, quite a wide miss for him from short range. There 
good. How's that touch? Very, very good. Golf course in such great shape, Patrick Henry. They just the, the job that they've done here in resurrecting the area. And Parker Henry coming over from Quail Hollow. He was the assistant super there. He came over kind of early summer, late spring here to Houston. And has really done a terrific job, he and the staff. Not the widest fairway out here. Trevor, I chatted with Joel Damon, who played with Tony the first two days last night. He said it's like he's swinging a toothpick. That's what it looks like <laughs> when you play with it. He's got such Just a mess of flicks hands. at it and yeah. it goes 320. <laughs> you should caddy, Trevor. <laughs> this is well short of the hole. This should spin back. That's a good play, though. It's just so tough to get it on that back shelf into the wind. My fee is too expensive, John. No chance anybody <laughs> could afford, could afford <laughs> Emmelman on the bag. Tony trying to get his day going. Oh. Oh, my word. Look where that's finished. Directly behind the hole. Just a millimeter away from his first birdie of this Saturday. Aimed on Thursday and Friday. Yeah, that makes it awkward because it's a dog leg left and the wind is going right. Tony again taking it very high, trying to take advantage of that helping wind. Looked to me like his right foot slipped on it, the downswing. It did. There. He looked, it looked down after he hit it, but I think it turned out all right. Yeah, still down the middle. <laughs> Nothing can throw Tony off his game. Tony Finau's in the fairway at six. 137, helping left, right wind. Has to be a little mindful of that slope left of the green. Good looking gap wedge, just right of the flag stick. Oh yeah, turning it in nicely there. First talks about is the opposite against him left to right, so it should straighten it out a little bit. Holes in a row where that ball is just hanging around the edge. Won't drop down. But you're looking for a way to stay positive out there. Hasn't made a mistake yet. Lead hasn't shrunk. So he goes right at it. What do I know? Putt comes over a little hump to his left, right there, and starts to pick up speed moving to his right. A little too much respect. I say he'll make one by the end of the nine. <laughs> make a birdie Got by a the end five. of the nine. Got a par five upcoming. He's playing beautiful golf. Final grouping still looking for their first birdie of the day. This is beautiful. Smoked it. Looks like it up the right side. Very low. Sounded so good. Tony Finau, the only man last season to win in consecutive weeks on the PGA Tour. Back one here at the eighth. Tony Finau, center cut, John. Yeah, 278 front. I don't think this club gets there. I think he's trying to push it up there as far as he can. But oh, this boy. one's heading way left. That was terrible. Was there mud on that ball, John? It's a decent lie, but a terrible angle, and he's not going to be able to put any spin on this at all. So when you have to judge correctly, land it short and let it release. That's really well done, yeah. honestly. Uh, yeah. From that position, really well done. And the lead for Finau is suddenly back to four and could get to five. Let's see if he can take the lid off. Oh, oh. what a birdie. What a time for your first birdie of the day, Tony Finau. To 14 under. Isn't golf crazy? He's birdied this ninth hole each of the first two rounds. Yeah, that's what he's done, taking it to the middle of the green. And it's short, but it's a smart shot. This one needs to go. This week, you said he's been really hitting him with some conviction, and I think it's really improved his stroke. Oh, there's another good one. 
Arkansas miss a short birdie putt at the second. Other than that, the putter has been solid, and Finau is just going about his business. The lead is five. Our coverage will continue at the top of the hour over on CNBC as we send you here on Golf Channel to the PGA Tour Champions event out at Phoenix Country Club. So we'll see you at CNBC at the top of the hour, take you all the way to the conclusion of this third round. Right to left wing, he's got to give this ball plenty of room to move. There's nothing stopping this win from the right, and he does that. He gave it too much respect, starting at the right edge of the green. Threw it way out there and hoped it would turn over, but uh, much farther right than he was trying to, I'm sure. Just on hair under 60 feet, long downhill, moving right to left. A lot of speed past this hole. Come on. All right. That ball it just kept trickling just kept out. Going. The wind kept pushing it. Nice look there how he sets up with the toe of the putter way in the air. This is actually right of the flag stick. Needs to carry that bunker and then stop. Carry the bunker and now it's stopping. That's the type of breaks you that you Huge love break. to have. Last win on the PGA Tour was by five in July at the Rocket Mortgage. That close to extending this lead to six. Waste the solid break at the 11th. Back on the tee with the leader, Tony Finau. Hard right to left into wind. He's trying to hold something against that wind. But he is in control of his golf ball right now. What a beautiful swing that was. Just doing anything he wants with it right now, Trevor. The sequence of it is just on the money at the moment. Sounded like a really good strike. Right side of the green. Can kick in from that side. And it does. That's a good shot right there. But his speed has really been on the money so far today. Mm, and there's another. Love tap-ins on days like today. Oh, yeah. Keeps the stress level down. And now going to 13, where he can easily drive it up near or on the green at the par four. Oh, this is right. Going to be in that lower area to the right of the green. Certainly not the preferable miss there. Trying to drive it into that bank. That's well done. Mm. Never hit with conviction, and Trevor, that not the putt we've seen most of the week from Tony Finau. No, it looked like the grain just ate that ball up there. On the tee, the leader, Tony Finau at 14. Quite a bit of help can take this right over the corner of that tree. Oh, another beauty, very high, slight draw. Those numbers, Steve, are insane. 177 ball speed, which is up there. On a good line, coming out much lower. Looking for that forward kick, he gets it. Oh, so because of it, the lower trajectory, got the kick forward rather than Noren's ball stopping so quickly. What have we got, a little break out the left? It looks like that, yeah. I might want to fall a hair right at the end, but I think it's pretty straight overall. There you go. Tony Finau. Back. To being up by five. This is wedge for Fino. Go, Tony! Go, Tony! Go, Tony! Just left of the flag stick. Think he's locked in. Mm -hmm. Gonna have a nice uphill look now for another birdie. You're saying it could be a touchdown in just a moment. 
Okay. So stays at 15 under. Trevor, how's that? Man, was that pure. How cool is that ball flight right there? It alleviates so much pressure mm -hmm. from the rest of his game when he has that much confidence. A little abbreviated finish to keep the flight down, probably. Very down up the left side. Yep. Soft bounce for him. See that easy arm swing, reminiscent of Justin Thomas. There you go. Great control. Ball striking is just put him in a position to where there's no stress at all. Those two wins last season, by the way, came in back-to-back -back mm -hmm. fashion, which is... Okay. Come and get me, boys. This whole playing straight down wind. You can take much less club than you have. This is down the right side as well. Back here at the 17th, Tony Finau set to go. 164, straight down wind. Back pin, this is easier to get to with a downwind hole, wind like this. Fairly conservative play, understandable. Playing the exact round you would hope to be playing with a big lead. And the win in the cold. No stress at all for Tony Finau. One hole left to play on the Saturday. Didn't want to say anything because he's hit every fairway today. This is up the right side. Needs a soft bounce. Yep. And gets it. How about that? That is next level to not miss a fairway out Literally there today. Literally perfection off the tee. And this is way left as well. Oh, another one splashes into that bunker. Carried it a little farther and tried to spin it a little bit. Yeah. It's got some steam, though. Mm, still done. That one rolls out a little bit as well. Pretty good leave here, even though it ran by almost straight up the hill, maybe moving a hair to his right, but one he can take break out of if he wants to. Hasn't made a bogey since 14 yesterday. Yeah. And still has it. What a putt. What a round. What a day for Tony Finau. And he will have a four shot lead. Steve Sands, pleased to be alongside Trevor Immelman. And Trevor, he got off to a nice start. Yeah, beautiful short iron into the par three second. Rolls that in from 15 feet. Nice birdie at two for Finau. Speaking of five, here's Tony's second at the fifth. As he's been doing all week, bombed a tee shot out there. Just 88 yards to the hole. Great spin control and a second birdie for Finau. Here he was at the seventh, trying to extend it some more. Wasn't able to convert there. No bogeys on the card, however. In complete command, Tony Finau. We see the rest of the broadcast team, including Houston's own Billy Ray Brown, who's been hosting us all week. Well, thank you there, Steve. It's been a great weekend. What a putt there by Finau. Played a conservative third shot from the left-hand rough here at the par five and knocks down another one. Gosh, reminds Trevor, me so much of yesterday. Trevor, not only is he driving it long, he's actually putting very well. What a combination. Yeah, it reminds me so much of yesterday. I remember he held a long putt there at eight that was his first birdie of the day in the third round. Don't want to play too defensive. I found that was an eight iron for Tony. I found a lot of times. So much for that, taking it just right of the flag. found a lot of times if you play too defensive, you then start making mistakes because you're just not making committed swings. Played five events, made four cuts, best finish tie for 25th at Fortinet. As Finau gets this birdie putt on the way. Wow. Autopilot, Trevor. Helping Brees here for Finau. 
There's a grass bunker yeah. at the right-hand side, and the bunker down the left, 325 to that bunker, but that's not going to be an issue. Just splits the fairway there. Wow. Interesting talking to his coach, Boyd Summerhays, this morning. He said they knew that hitting fairways was so important. You can take dead aim here, also a wedge. 134, just a light breeze. In and from the left. Off the green just a touch. Tony Finau hitting his third. Yeah, choosing putter from just off the Whoa. edge of the green, and that got away from Tony. The goal for them was to improve from eight feet and in. He's done that so far this week. Can he make another one? Mm. Not that time. Oh, he's coming back to the field now, Trevor. <laughs> yeah, it starts at left, way left actually. Gets a little bit of that slope. Three times you succeed, and that's considered great. Golf winning percentages are crazy low yeah. as well. When you see someone dominate the way Tony has dominated the best players in the world this week, what goes through your mind as an athlete? He's just focused. He's locked in. It, it sometimes I feel like you're just feeling it, and mm. uh, and everything you hit um, in baseball finds a hole, or everything you everything you hit on the golf course goes right where you want it. Playing about 70% of his strength off the tee here, just playing under control. This little bullet that he can hit, just a soft left to right, and just got it dialed in right now. Another good one. Small target here at the 12th. Check the holes position on that front left portion. Check out the top tracer technology there from Tony. Settle. Easy. Uh oh. oh. He is confused on that. Hit it exactly the way he wanted. That ball really carried. That ball way back in the stance. This is amazing. Amazing. Are you kidding me? How about those two boys from Taylor and Fina? Yeah, this is out to the right. I'm not going to catch the green. But if you miss today, right is where you want to miss. It's going to come all the way back down. Second bounce was so soft into the grain. Mm. And Trevor, the mistake off the tee. Sure. <laughs> Answers the call again. Even though the Team ground's been moved up today. Still over 500 yards of par four here at the 14th. Moves a little bit from right to left. That one just creeps through into the rough. You can see that ball speed there, 173. Yeah, and a miss left though is not any trouble whatsoever. 212 yards, pretty good strike there by Finau. Oh, and that catches that bunker. I believe coming in with the, that ball kind of got away from him. He should. Back with Tony Finau. Yeah, very good lie in the bunker. Once the ball gets on the green here, it's going to hit the down slope. Uh, checked up more than what I thought, Trevor. Pushed it. Yeah, on the move early. Pushed it by a mile. We had a great view at the roll of the ball. Tony has earned the cushion of a six-shot lead, but it is dwindling just a touch. A bogey at 10. Sit down. Fight. Flushed it. All right. Keep it high. Keep it way left. Oh, yeah! 
There's a plenty of air, Trevor, out to the left, just trying to navigate that slope. Right. Still a bit of work left now for Finau. Yeah, nice pop to the stroke right there. Ooh. Oh, my. Well, Steve Sands. Just getting a little interesting. Big spot here. Mashed potato! Oh my, this is up the right hand side and hammered. Unleashed one there. You see that ball speed jump up to 178? If there was any doubt about his confidence. Yeah, laying up. He has an interesting play here. I thought he might try to slam the door here, Trevor. He only had 207 to the front of the green. Finau, he's going fast here with his He lead. is not taking long to pull the trigger. 122 yards, flights it down, trying to bring it in from right to left. Yeah, very good. Very, very nice. And the rest of that is going to be back uphill. So a good look now here. That uh, you have to catch yourself and uh, regroup at times. It's totally different when you know that it's yours to lose. Well, that's going to find the fairway, but it's going to be well back. Wants to get this thing over with. Yeah, no doubt. Or just take it right out of there, Trevor. Wow, what a play there. Aggressive. He might have pushed that just a little bit, Trevor. Oh, he did not move. Hit it exactly where he was looking. Well, Trevor, I think he can relax now after this tap in here. No more water on the golf course. That's right. Just now maybe able to enjoy the ride the rest of the way. And this is one club that has given him so many opportunities. He's driven the ball extremely well. And just a beauty of the left-hand side. Yeah, he has led the field in driving accuracy this yep. week. It's been a huge weapon for him. Sends it out to the right, trying to draw it back toward the center of the green. Okay. All he needs there. Mm -hmm. Just stayed on top. Oh. <laughs> now, Finau. I think he's got this covered, Steve. It could be okay. <laughs> For the third time in his last seven PGA Tour starts, Tony Finau is a winner. The fifth in his career. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.